Hello, friends, and welcome to Out for Coffee. With Mike and Lori. Hi, Lori. How Hi, are you? I'm good. It's uh, lovely being at your wonderful abode today. My humble abode? Your humble abode, yes. Pretty humble. Thanks for having us over. You're welcome. Rob, thanks for setting us up. Oh, thank you. No problem at all. Glad, oh. to, glad to help out. How are you? I am well. You know, it's... Uh, yeah, well, let's just leave it at that. Cause <laughs> other, otherwise, this is going to be a very long episode. It's just, just going to go. Hi, I'm Mike Crabb. And I'm Lori Schultz. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the show. show. We'll have some caffeinated conversation. And maybe some special guests along the way. Who, Who knows, knows where, where the, the conversation, conversation will go? go. You're, You're out, out for coffee, coffee with Mike and Lori. Yeah. How was setting up with Lori's uh, cats? Uh, all up oh, in everything you're doing. Yeah, that's always a, a challenge. I mean, I enjoy the uh, I, I enjoy the cats running around. <laughs> Uncle Harry is definitely a big well, fan of Tech Wizard Run. Yes, yes. And he's yeah. got meatloaf he's, between his legs oh, right now. Oh, I know. Yeah. Stand, stand right there. He literally, stand right there. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, but that's okay. I don't know okay. if you can see Harry. Harry oh, yeah, Harry's come to join us. Hello, sure. Harry. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, welcome to the my home. We'll have them all there. Oh, well, wow. thanks for setting us up, Rob. No problem. Oh, appreciate oh, it. What do we thumb. have? What, why are we uh, on location at Lori's today? Well, I'm glad you asked that because uh, today we have a very special <laughs> guest. And uh, it's uh, my privilege to introduce him and because, uh, well, I, I kind of know him really well. Uh, I've known him for a long time, most of his life, and um, most of it, <laughs> most of his life, yeah. And uh, um, yeah, we're go we're going to get him to chat a little bit about. Uh, uh, he's a local businessman here around uh, the Woodstock area. Talk a little bit about that, and a little bit about uh, what he does in his spare time, whatnot. And uh, so let's uh, welcome. Actually, he's, it's my son, Adam. <laughs> Welcome, Adam. Hello. Thank you for having me. I don't know if I should jump on the table and roll over, but I should probably take meatloaf. You wouldn't be the first one. <laughs> I mean, what? Why? It's nice the to options have you. are endless. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining us thank today. We me. really appreciate you. Now we've we've chatted about uh, about Adam on on the show before because uh, you have a lot of cool things going on in your life, and we wanted to chat with you a bit, knowing that March break is is here, and we want to talk uh, kind of a bit about what everyone's doing. And with your experiences, we thought, oh, what a great uh, pairing for March break. So tell us a bit about you and your family. What do you guys do? Well, I'm a web designer, right. and uh, that means I can work anywhere I have internet. Right. As long as I have my laptop and internet, I can work wherever I would like. And so we travel full time. And um, you might call us digital nomads. That's a popular term Ooh. for people who work online and travel. Interesting. Um, but, uh, you know, last year in 2022, we uh, visited 16 different countries. And uh, so we're, we're looking forward to lots of different options this year, too. 16 different yeah, countries. that's right. In one year. Yes. Holy moly. So you guys travel around in an RV, right? Well, we travel North America in an RV, but last year we actually went to Europe for the summer. Cool. And so that allowed us to visit a lot of countries because of layovers and short train rides. And of course. That kind of thing, because everything's cool. so compact. It's so close together right. over there. It's easy to hit many in a swoop. That's wild. I've only ever been to one other country. <laughs> America? America, and it was 10 years ago. <laughs> Lori needs to get out more. I'm a homebody. <laughs> so tell us a bit about, so you and your family, it, it's uh, you and your wife, Celine, and yep. you've got how many children? Three boys. They are uh, 13, uh, 11, and 9. So having three young boys and your wife all traveling in this RV, that sounds like... Chaos and fun all at once. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's about a 90-10 split. Okay. About 90% chaos and 10% is just the best time we've ever had in our lives. Right. Uh, but that other 90% can be a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a lot of people ask us, how do you survive as a family of five in 273 square feet? Right. And so uh, I, I know our viewers can't necessarily see the room we're in, but I could back my trailer here in our, just our studio space. Oh my goodness. Uh, so the five of us live in 273 square feet, but we kind of treat it like the hotel room when we travel. Okay. In the sense that if you're going somewhere, probably not to spend your time in the hotel room, but to get out and see what's around. Well, it gets you, like you don't want to sit around, right? So it gives you right. that drive to actually go out and sightsee and such. Yeah, exactly. What was the inspiration behind 
this lifestyle? Well, like, uh, did in, you just wake up one morning and say, I think I want to be in the witness protection program? <laughs> <laughs> well, besides that, uh, we, uh, in 2017, actually, we were living in Florida. I had a three-year contract with a client in Florida. So we went down to 20, in 2015, and in 2017, there was Hurricane Irma right. that was coming mm -hmm. right through the section of Florida where we lived. And um, at the time, my boss called me because we decided we were going to uh, leave Florida and come to Woodstock, actually, to be at mom and dad's house right. uh, to wait out the hurricane. And um, so we went home and we packed up everything that mattered to us into our SUV and uh, everything else that we thought we wanted to keep into a few Rubbermaid bins and put them up on the top floor in case our house flooded. Right. And on the way out of town, my boss called me and he said, hey, Adam, just so you know, everything that matters to you is in your vehicle. Everything else can be replaced. Don't worry about it. Go. It's out of our hands now. Huh. And I realized if I have everything that I need in my vehicle, why couldn't I travel? Right. Like I don't need that couch. I don't need those appliances. I don't necessarily need to be stationary, right? In my vehicle, I've got my family, I've got my laptop, and I've got my coffee. I'm good to go. That. Yes. And so, do you have an air fryer? An air fryer. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes. I mean, that's the four things we that's needed: right. my family, my laptop, my coffee, and my air fryer. <laughs> Um, and Priorities. <laughs> so when our contract was up in 2018, we had a three-year contract there. I said to my wife, this is a crazy idea, but just give me 30 seconds before you tell me I've been saying it. Right. <laughs> what if we could put everything that matters to us in a vehicle? What if we could go travel? And she's got family out west. She's got family in Halifax. And I said, you know, we have friends we haven't seen since college. We have family you haven't seen in years. Um, and even if we decided, okay, we're going to make a trip out to Halifax to see some of her family, that means we're not going to get to Saskatoon for a long time to see the rest of her family. Right. So I said, what if we picked 50 things we want to see in a year and we aim one a week and we spend a year on the road and we travel and we nail off one of the things on these, this list of 50 things every week for a year. And that was four years ago. Right. So I'm either really slow at checking off lists <laughs> or we had a really good time. That's but, amazing. Uh, yeah, we just stayed on the road. So was she on board or was she like, what? This is insane. <laughs> well, when I told her, I said, you know, we could travel and go all these places. And she said to me, the boys and I will miss you. But after that, <laughs> right. she was on board. It took her. It took her a few days. Right. Well, that it's such a, a lifestyle change. Absolutely, yeah. like Lori's saying, right? Like that's that is a choice. Like, um, but all the power to you. I think it's amazing. What were some of the in your early days? Mm -hmm. There had to have been growing pains, okay. and like, oh, we didn't consider this. Like, what were those early days like? Uh, it was interesting. So we actually bought an older RV. We bought a model from 1992. It was a 30 foot travel trailer from 1992 because we could pay cash for that at the time and we could gut it and build it exactly how we wanted okay. compared to buying a new one, which we could get exactly what we wanted, but obviously the cost was yeah. more than what yeah. we wanted right. to put into it. And so we had bought this travel trailer. We spent six weeks renovating it and we went out to our first campground and we pulled in and neither the stove nor the kitchen faucet worked. Of course. And so we're now living in this thing full time yeah. and without running water, which was really interesting uh. until we sorted out how to get all the bits and pieces working because I'd never gone camping in a in an RV growing up, neither had my wife. I'd never towed a trailer before in my life. So, mm. so this we were is brand new. Wow. It was, uh, it was fresh. It was, uh, it's quite the leap of faith, actually. It's that or stupidity. <laughs> but either way, four years yeah. later, we got over it. Right. So, <laughs> so now the teacher in me, mm -hmm. I know your wife does homeschooling yeah. with the kids, yeah. which does not concern me at all. Uh, I just wonder about how do the boys maintain their friendships? Mm. Yeah, that's a really good question and something we get asked quite often. One of the things that we're, we have this conversation a lot is what is community for us, mm -hmm. right. right? Because we don't necessarily go to the same office every day and see the same people at school and, you know, even running into people in the grocery store mm -hmm. right. rarely happens for us. But we've also kind of built this community around like all of my kids know basically all of my wife's extended family. Okay. Right. And my kids, we, the summer went to Scotland and 
mom and dad and my sister met us there and we got to meet family there that we'd never met mm -hmm. before and since then we've continued to stay in touch with them right? right so we've got facetime and we've got facebook and all the faces but uh that is a way for us to build community so we see people Sometimes we'll see them once every year, or once every two years, we'll pull into their driveway and we'll stay in their driveway for a week. Mm -hmm. In you know, we have friends in Texas that we do this with, in Kansas City and Saskatoon and Vancouver and Halifax and um, we were just in um, California and we did this with friends that we'd only seen, you know, every couple of years. And as soon as our kids get out of the car, they go straight back into friend mode with these people that we've seen That's but from a few wondering. years yeah. ago. Okay. So it, it is an interesting balance. And it might surprise you, but there are actually quite a few families that travel now full time. Oh yeah. So we'll run into people that we know from here, there, and everywhere, but we're never sure where we're going to run into That's them. You just like bump into them. Well, we usually Or you plan it out. Well, we'll see that they're their Instagram shows they're heading a certain direction. And okay. if we happen to be heading that same direction, then yeah. my wife will get on there. Selena will get right. on there and be like, hey, where are you guys? Where are you heading? Can we meet up? And oh, cool. So they're still socially connected. It's just a non-traditional social yeah, connection. Yeah, it's, 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 it's very wider. different. It, it is wider. Like when you think of maybe a student who's, what's your son, nine years old, what would he be, grade four? Something like yeah. that. They know the kids in their class. Yeah, that's, yeah. Doesn't Your go much further than that. Your kids know kids all over the world. Right. Yeah. And that's pretty cool. Well, and also, the field trips must be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's pretty I mean, cool. I'm yeah. not worried about the teaching part of it. I mean, sure. the no, education but just thinking that kids experience. are getting is pretty incredible. You've been to America. What? Like, you know, like, mm -hmm. the amount of life experience exactly. these kids have already. The education far is far away us. So Incredible. it was cool that um, actually um, about a year ago in March, my wife started reading the Harry Potter books to our kids. Right. So every night she would read a couple pages or a chapter or sometimes it was three or four chapters of Harry Potter. And last year we got through the whole series. Nice. Well, knowing in March that we were going to Great Britain in April, right. we started searching all the places you can see there so we got while they're reading harry potter we went to the king's cross where harry runs through the nine and three quarters platform right. at the train station wow. and we went to some of the physical locations where they shot harry potter and we went to the warner brothers studio where they actually shot the harry potter and they've now set it up as a tour just outside of london so field trips are pretty cool actually but we try to plan them in context of what we're thinking about or learning right so they're learning while we were there, English history, Scottish history, uh, about castles, and then we will go to some of the castles that they're actually learning about. Oh, man, that, that sounds is amazing. Education. That is education. That sounds like a retirement plan too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> not just learning, but like that. Yeah. Oh, that's really hmm. cool. Is so when when you guys began this adventure, mm -hmm. where where was first on your list? Where did you go off to first? Paris. Ontario. Oh, all the way over there. <laughs> so, that, so that was the first place we took our travel trailer. We had friends at a campground there, and so they said, hey, come on over, and we'll show you all the things you don't know how to do on your trailer. Right. So, well, I guess you got to learn well, that. Yeah. So we Early did that. Yeah. Start so small. Our first year, basically, we started in August of 2018. We went like uh, through Quebec, over to the East Coast, down the East Coast of the States, and then, in, and then in the spring of 2019, we went like across the southern states. And in March, we were coming up the west coast to British Columbia. Oh, wow. And then we spent April to June coming back from British Columbia to Ontario. So okay. that was the big loop our first wow. year. Holy moly. It's pretty good for year one. <laughs> yeah, that's it, right? And is there, has there been a, a, like a favorite place you've been that like you hope to go back to or you did go back to? Oh, it's so hard to narrow it down to a single thing um, because there's so many things we love to do. I'm a big city guy, right. so I would be happy in Toronto or Montreal okay. or, or Los Angeles or New York. Like just drop me in a city and abandon me and right. I'll be <laughs> completely happy. Right. My wife likes going out for hikes and photography and, and those types of things. So she always wants to get away from the city. Right. And so our boys kind of have figured out like what their thing is, right? Yeah. What works for each of them. So we don't probably have a different answer about what are the favorite things we like to do, but if we had to narrow it down to a favorite, that's, that's a tough that's one. That's tough. That's well, a tough question. That's a good problem though. Yeah. yeah. Is there a place that you, you really hope to go one day? Um, a bucket list location? Well, a bucket list thing for me was Scotland. Right. Like that was a big deal for me. Uh, and so it was great that we, we got to do that last summer. And um, 
Yeah, I mean, I love snorkeling, so okay. throw me in the water and, you know, just leave me be. And so I would love to go over to uh, some of the beaches in Asia, you know, Bali, uh, the Maldives, the places you see on, on Instagram, basically. Right. Right? <laughs> Those are on my list. So at some point, and I would love to go over to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Sharks. Um, Sharks. Yeah, sharks. Well, they're everywhere. Uh, but besides that, it's beautiful. Yeah. Right? Would you ever go in a shark cage if someone said, hey? No. no? Not in okay. a million years. <laughs> now, if my wife Celine was sitting here, you would probably get a different answer from yeah. her because she just throws caution to the wind and oh. I just run the camera, which is great. It's a lot of fun. Cool. Now, in saying that, you guys do share uh, your journeys, don't you, on social yes, media? Yes, we do, yeah. So tell us a bit about that. Like, what, where, where can people find you? Well, the best way to track us down is to go to our blog, which is adamandceline.com. Okay. And then our social media links are up there. And uh, sometimes we'll post about ideas of, uh, you know, how people get started at traveling and things we learned along the way. Um, sometimes we'll talk about tips and tricks that we've learned, or sometimes we'll talk about the actual places we've visited. Right. But that's the best way. It's adamandceline.com, and our social media icons are there. That's we'll awesome. share that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll need to check it out a little ourselves too, because it's uh, it's so interesting. So now, if you guys, uh, that's that's a lot of family time, which is incredible. But like, what if you need a night off? Like, what do you do about mm. childcare? Like, how how do you figure out babysitting and stuff like that? <laughs> yeah. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> we just leave them alone. Sometimes the RVs in the desert. That's there's right. nobody around. There's nowhere for them to go anyway. It's fine. We leave them on the cliff. The door lock works really well, and um, we'll be back as soon as the movie's over. Uh, that's a joke. Um, no, it's uh, it, it, it is an interesting question. The fun thing, you is know, that he he needs to remember that Grandpa's standing right here. Right here. <laughs> You just, mean you don't drive to wherever they I'm, are and do all the yeah, childcare for them? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm also censoring myself for the studio audience's benefit. Um, there's, uh, because we visit so many people's driveways, right. they will often say to us, hey, you know, let your kids hang out with our kids and go out for that's the night. Because nice. so you have to have like some, some you time out for a nice dinner and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. Around, right? But also like our kids are young yeah, enough that probably. they're typically in bed by 10 o'clock. And so we'll often just hang out and play cards at night or right. watch a movie. So we do intentionally make that time. Yeah. Um, but a lot of times like, you know, if we've had an interesting day and the interns just want to talk to me about Pokemon and Minecraft still and I just need to write this blog post to be finished with my day. <laughs> then I'll say to Celine, I'm going out to get milk. There you She's go. like, we don't need, I'm going to get eggs. We don't need eggs. I'm going to the grocery store to find something we need. Okay? I will be back in about an hour. Let me do it. Six and, bags uh, of Oreos later. <laughs> right. I said, yeah, the milk was really expensive, but look at all the stuff I got for free. Um, and so, uh, uh, yeah, we find interesting ways to, you know, Celine will take the boys to a library and I'll go work in the study room if I need to get work done. Right. Um, or she'll take the boys out to a science center for the day and I'll stay home and work. Um, but other than work, we basically spend all of our time beyond that just hanging out together. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Has there ever been a place that you've spent some time or started to spend some time and you're like, no, we gotta get out of here? So my wife is economically conscious, mm. is the best way to say it. Some okay. people would say cheap, but no. I wouldn't say that. No. I would <laughs> never would say, say that. that. Not out loud. <laughs> uh, we went to Nashville for a week mm -hmm. uh, in our first year on the road, and Nashville was great. However, the campground my wife chose was economically conscious. Okay. And I should have gotten a hint that people don't use this for a weekend getaway when there was a one-week minimum. Oh. And... Uh, it was basically all the things you might imagine that a terrible campground might be mm -hmm. uh, with junkyard dogs oh, and broken oh, down RVs. No. And I thought to myself, let's move on. <laughs> and so that trip to Nashville was a little bit shorter than we planned, but uh, we were able to go back <laughs> and, and Eddie really rolls enjoy up. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Real nice, Clark. I mean, yeah. just turned it into a field trip, too. Not that well. Clark is an RV. <laughs> and, I mean, if he hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known that was an RV. Yeah. But uh, it, that, one, that one was interesting. That was an interesting stop along the way. Um, we've been to a few f people people's houses who mm -hmm. invited us to come hang out. And, you know, all of a sudden, I wasn't feeling no, well. No, yeah. Very, af you know, after... We had to go home. Yes. <laughs> now, please. <laughs> please start the car. <laughs> but, I have diarrhea. We have to go. <laughs> but the experiences have always 
overwhelmingly been better than the ones we've had to walk over. Right. Them. And but those are learning experiences for the happen. kids, too, right? There's yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whoa. Can you hear me a little groaning? Uh, uh, yes. Can, I don't I know if everybody can. There, there, he is. there he is right there. Heard yeah. him. What's he uh, upset about? I don't know. He's just not pleased. I think he was upset when the cat got on the table and he yes. just hasn't calmed down from that. Yes. Officer Meatloaf was uh, on the case. <laughs> <laughs> so for work, mm -hmm. what 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 does a bad day of work look like for you? Like, do you have like network issues or like like how often do you have a bad day at work or is it usually pretty clean? Yeah, it's usually pretty clean. So uh, in summer of 2020 i guess it was we added solar onto our rv oh okay and so we can now go out into the middle of de the desert and we can be off grid for five or six days at a time wow and sometimes we're in a location where we can't see anybody right. like as far as the eye can see there's nobody cool. and that's great uh, if we have good internet signal, right? And if we don't have good internet signal, we just go find the next place the next day. <laughs> then it's uh, an episode of Criminal Minds. <laughs> yeah. Yikes! It doesn't last very long, but once you're done digging, it's it's fine after that. You know, we had four kids when we started. We're down to three, but besides that, the trips have been wonderful. We we're really pulling together as a family. Um, and uh, no, I'm just joking for the record. Yeah. Come on, Grandpa. <laughs> Relax over there. Yeah, yeah I don't know. <laughs> no, I think Rob's just jealous he doesn't get to tag along. You know, we we have actually gone to uh, meet up with them and connect in uh, several different places where they've been, and uh, it's it's always a lot of fun. Um, but. No, I would, personally, I would buy an RV tomorrow and drive behind them. Yeah. Aww. I'd be, I'd be gone. In a heartbeat. Oh, yeah, yeah. The proof is in the pudding now, eh? Oh, what yeah, yeah, the, for sure. What about the early days, though? Did you need convincing oh, that this was a good idea? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, it's like, oh, my grandsons are going to live in a trailer park. Holy mackerel. <laughs> uh, no, that's, uh, you know, it's, I had total faith in my son. Uh, and, and what the decisions he was making. Uh, but, you know, understandably still, uh, as he uh, has even said just now, you know, there's a lot of unknowns, mm -hmm. you know, and things that they didn't know, um, uh, things they didn't know they didn't know. And uh, that's just, that's the way it goes. But that's how you learn. And uh, listen, if you're, if you're not out there learning, then... What's the point? What are we doing? Yeah. That's right. That's <laughs> you gotta right. always learn. But like we, we, learn. we enjoy the times we do get to go and uh, connect with them. Uh, we went to, to uh, we, he mentioned being in Nashville, and uh, we went down to Nashville for a few days while they were there. Had a great time. I'm sorry. Let me just clarify. That was in the good trailer park when they came to visit us. It was a very, <laughs> it, was a, it was a very nice trailer yes, park. Yes, not the fact. original yes. trailer. Not the oh, you're not no. rough economically it, frugal. No, trailer no, no. Park. That wasn't. A, and uh, and then I, I, you know, I can't remember how long ago it was, but we did go down to Florida uh, and connect uh, while they were in Florida. So, um, you know, we had we had a lot of fun doing that. But wow. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely uh, you know I, I totally respect the, the challenge that he's uh, putting himself into. But hey, you know it's like to me it's it floors me. I you know I get a FaceTime call, and it's uh, you know one of my grandsons. Hey, Grandpa, we were at the top of the Eiffel Tower. Oh man, <laughs> it's like yeah. I mean, what what better when you talk about an education yeah. and opportunity for the kids? I mean, it's uh, it's just amazing. Is yeah. there? Um, uh, how much say do your kids get in where you go? Do they get a wish list and say it would be awesome to go to certain places? Yeah, we pretend to give them all kinds of choices. <laughs> um, we'll say like, hmm, Paris or Chick-fil-A, right? Like, and then we're like, uh, Chick-fil-A, great! Then we'll go to Paris. Um, and so... There's gotta be a Chick-fil-A in Paris. Right, probably. <laughs> we'll, we'll go find it, see if we can find one over there. Um, yeah, we do. We'll, we'll often give, we'll often say, here's where we're going. You know, what would you like to do while we're there? Right. right? Mm -hmm. And so I, I use Paris as an example. <coughs> Our kids watch a show called Miraculous Ladybug, okay. which is actually set in Paris. Okay. And so there were certain things they knew, like they wanted to go see the Louvre and they wanted to go see the Eiffel Tower. And so it was interesting to hear from them what they thought was on their bucket list for Paris. Right. So cool. it, that was kind of cool. Yeah. Ah, oh, that is very cool. Baguettes. Right. Just me with an arm full of baguettes. <laughs> and you're ready to go. Our oh. youngest son was ready for macaroon. Real French Parisian macaroon. This was on his bucket list. So I'm like, it's okay. very different than macaron. 
Well, yeah, I guess in how you say it. <laughs> but no, they're different things. A I know. Wait, a macaroon is like uh, like a coconut and stuff, isn't it? And a macaron is yeah. like a but little But Macron thing. was the president of France. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Macron. Yeah. I thought it was Macron. Rob, you're smart. Who's the president of France? Uh, um, get, sorry, pass. Get Google. Next, <laughs> question, next question. You know those little speech bubbles that pop up at the bottom? You know, I was like, what was that? Pop-up pop video. Yeah, yeah pop-up pop video. video. It'll be like, we'll go with fact check. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, you know. do you remember that? Are you old enough for pop-up I video? I loved pop-up okay. video. This whole episode is going to be like, fact check Adam, what's wrong? Fact check. <laughs> <laughs> fact check, Harris does not have a Chick-fil-A. <laughs> what do you think, Meaty? Uh, he's good? got something to say. I would like to know what it was like having this guy as a dad oh. growing up. How many spankings did you get? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Like, what, are you also a tech wizard? I don't know wizard? how to answer that. Hmm? Are you a tech no, wizard? No, no, I don't know. Tech no, wizard I, junior? No, That's listen. what we're going to call you from It's now. an important distinction between a website designer and a website developer. Okay. Right? This right. is kind of like insider speak. But a website developer does like all the code and the technical stuff. Yes. That's what he does. Right. I right. like choose pretty colors. <laughs> okay. I like that color of that shade of blue. Uh, so I'm a designer way more than a tech, and uh, that's why he's tech support Rob. Yeah. Techie tech Rob. Wizard. Tech wizard. Tech wizard Rob, tech wizard I'm sorry. He's trying to shake that name, and Lori just keeps driving it in there. <laughs> it's never going to be yeah. yeah, shaken. Yeah, I just, uh, can't get away from that. Um, no, I'd actually, I'll, I'll just chime in and say it has been a really good experience um, because, uh, uh, you know, I retired oh, going on five years ago now. And, uh, you know, one of the things that they say when you retire is make sure you have something to, to do right. when you retire and keep you busy. And, uh, you know, I've uh, had a, a great opportunity to continue doing a lot of the technical stuff that I did throughout my career. Uh, and now I get to work with my son, which is uh, even better. Right. So, yeah. He says work with like I'm not his boss. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> wow. Here. I'm wow. in charge. That's... You draw that oh, line. Wow, the hey, hey, is my mic muted now? That wait, changed. wait, I need my mic back. Yeah, so. <laughs> wow, that's, that changes quickly, doesn't it? Wow. <laughs> so that would be the difference between okay. growing up and now, is that growing up, I was not the boss. Right, right. And now, by title, I am. By but title. By title, yes. necessarily. By title. That was very yeah. wise of you For to sure. say it that way. For sure. <laughs> so, and your business is called? My business is called Fresh Idea Websites. Fresh Idea Websites. Yeah, we started in Woodstock in 2011. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, we make websites. Very cool. Keeping you busy. So if you yeah. need a website, <laughs> this guy right here. <laughs> so where are you hoping to go to next? Well, next we are uh, trying to figure that out, actually. We're not sure exactly what the rest of 2023 is going to look like. Um, Probably staying in North America and enjoying our trailer. Since we took last summer off in Europe, we kind of want to settle into staying with our trailer this year. And and we'll see from there. We're really not sure. Probably back to Woodstock a little bit later in the summer. And yeah. Cool. Is this something you can see yourself doing, packing up and traveling? Just going on the run? Just, yeah. <laughs> on the lamb? <laughs> Disguise and all? <laughs> you know, I think I could probably spend a year doing it. I don't know if I would do it for my lifetime. Right. Uh-oh. What? Meaty. Oh, it smells yeah, like a dog bird in here. Meaty's got, he just walks in, lets it go, and walks out again. <laughs> or are you just blaming him? No, no, no it's him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. D- don't worry they'll think it was the dog <laughs> <laughs> pop up video no. it was Lori <laughs> right. Fact check, true. when it's me I'll let you know <laughs> that sounds like a great note <laughs> <laughs> and on that note thanks meaty thanks a lot uh, Adam, it's been really great to officially meet you because, yeah, we've, we've obviously had many conversations and uh, admired you from afar and, and what you and your family are doing. I For think sure. it's really incredible and um, uh, empowering to see that people are making their own adventures and including their family and taking this as a great opportunity to uh, just get to know the world a little bit better. So keep it up. Thank you. Um, excited to see what you guys are up to next. And uh, please know how grateful we are that you came and joined us today. And, and Rob, thanks for reeling them in and getting them here for us. 
Oh, no problem. Any excuse to get them to come home, actually, Aww. is uh, just fine by uh, the grandma and I. Yeah. yeah. This was the whole reason they came home, was to be on over. Oh, yes. oh absolutely. Right. Yeah. Well, the the yeah. only reason they want us home is for the grandkids. Right. You know this that, is right? true. This is true. Like, oh, um, Adam's leaving. No. Is only, are the grandkids coming? Are the, <laughs> that's see right. you? Are the kids coming? Mm-hmm. That's, what, that's what we want to know. And, uh, how, you know, how long are you going to let the kids stay? Yeah. Really. Aww. But, uh, you know. I, I, I say that in jest, but knowing my son, I have to be careful because, uh, you know, I'll say that as a joke. And the next thing I'll know, he will say, oh, by the way, Celine and I just booked tickets to Tahiti and for two. For and two. we're leaving. Right. Goodbye. Uh-huh. We'll be back to pick up the boys in six months. Right. That would not surprise me at all, not in the slightest. Uh, Nor would it bother you either, I no, think. I think so. Oh, we'd be, we'd be very happy. <laughs> I'm sure you would be. But, uh, Can we get that recorded? Yeah. Can we get that writing, please? <laughs> we'll, we'll send it We've to you. We've got witnesses now. <laughs> but we'll share your socials as well. And if you want to follow Adam and his family, by all means. Yeah, please check them out. Um, but until next time, we'll see you guys on our next episode of Out for Coffee. With Mike and Lori. Bye, everyone. Beady. Do you have questions, comments, or ideas for a future show? Reach out to Mike and Lori on their social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Or email us at MikeAndLoriSocials at gmail.com.